Hey folks, Smoking Hads here, and I am going to play Shenmue. It's my favourite game of all time, bar none. Unable to locate, save file, start new game. Yes, that's what I want to do. That's what we want to do. Creating file. Okay. So yeah, this is definitely my uh, my favourite game of all time by far. Number one of my top three. Uh, I've already played. Uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time and did a play through that on my channel which is in my top three as well and I'll do my third I'll complete the trio with my third I'll let you know what it is when I'm gonna play it but yeah let's do Shenmue my number one I'll try and be quiet through the through the cutscene and just let you guys watch it don't want to talk too much so I tried to do a recording of this on my laptop, but it was very laggy. I think the processor speed just wasn't good enough, so hopefully this PC can handle it better. Oh, Inesa. Inesa. Ryo san, I'm all right, but Hazuki sensei. My father. Father. Seems to be handling it better already. Turned down the volume in my headphones a bit, it was very loud. Shadows. Obviously, this is on an emulator, so I haven't messed around with the settings. I've just left it as it was. Real son, real son. Get in there. This is definitely one of the best openings of a game ever. It has to be. So much dark, mysterious. Don't really know what's going on at first if you haven't read much about the game, which I didn't when I got it. I only knew I saw a review which made me want to get it. And I got it originally on the Dreamcast, the four disc edition. Father. Stay back, Ryo. For the last time, where is the mirror? Where is I've the mirror? no intention of telling you. I'm captivated. Set the fuck down. Now then. So if you notice, I never noticed before until I started playing it on the simulator, but if you notice his robe on the front, it actually has a dragon holding what looks like a mirror. And it is cold, I think it is the dragon mirror. Even on the back there, you can see right at the bottom behind, below his hand. Yeah. See there, it looks like the dragon's holding a mirror on the front of his robe. Or else, your son. Wait! The, the mirror, it's, it's buried under the cherry tree. Fuck 
Okay, it. Sama, we have it. We have the dragon mirror. That's what I'm calling it. I don't know if that is. I can't really remember. It's been years since I played this game, but yeah, it's got a dragon on it and it's a mirror, so I'm calling it the dragon mirror. See, so he's got a tattoo of it. He's got a robe with a dragon holding a mirror. Now he has the mirror. I can't really remember the storyline of this. Obviously, it's not finished. You need to wait for Shenmue 3, which has obviously been confirmed on a Kickstarter now, so. Which I'm really excited about. I actually got Shenmue 2, the, uh, the Chinese version, and whatever it was, and it was all in Chinese with English subtitles, and I played that on the Dreamcast as well, 4 disc edition. Harsh times, harsh times. So his father is dead. Four days later. I'll let the game kick in before I go through some of the game mechanics and stuff. I didn't want to keep talking through the cutscenes and stuff. I know I talked a bit, but wanted to watch it a bit as well. Don't want to be completely silent, hold it through the whole thing though. A letter for Hazuki Sensei. Hazuki Sensei. Messed them up. It's having nightmares. Must get our revenge. We must know what happened. I'll find some stuff out. Rio's room, 8:55 a.m. So yeah, the premise of the game is it's almost like a detective game. You got a yeah, you get your little notebook there. So just trying to see if. All the buttons are the same as what. Shit, I gotta press it. Yeah, so. Yeah, so you get like little notes in here anytime you learn something new. He writes a little note in the book. Yeah, you use the right trigger to focus in on things. And you can focus in on. Sorry, the controls are a bit clunky on this control pad I'm using, so you need to bear with me. Shenmue cassette tape. So yeah, you can collect cassettes as well. I don't know if there's like there's a lot of collectibles in this game. You can go through all the drawers and all the cupboards. So there's the cassette tape player that we're gonna need. Yeah, pick it up then. So we got the cassette tape player now. That's it. That's good. Close that one. No, I wanted to go through the rest of them. 
so yeah, you can open all the drawers, you can investigate, you can go through, like, it's one of the first things that I uh, learned when I played Shenmue for the first time was the amount of exploration and things that you can do. Fuck it, let's just take it. Um, you can do a lot of stuff, you can go through the whole house, there's a lot of drawers to go through, a lot of stuff you can find and unlock. It really is quite, quite amazing, the things that you can do. Another cassette tape. Half the stuff's just music or things, it's not actually relevant, it's just it's just collectibles. Right, so we have that. I think we've got everything we're gonna get from that desk. So again look if you go so if I press the button here, right? For godness goodness sakes. Yeah, so if you focus, you hold the right trigger to focus on things and it focuses in. Now I can go through all the discs. So if you go down, like, as you can see, I can flip through all the drawers. I can open each drawer if I wanted to. If I press the button, it would open, obviously, the drawers. So, for example, you can open the drawers. shows you what's inside. You can have a look. You can close it again. And go through the rest of the drawers. So, yeah, you can... There's a lot of exploration, a lot of stuff. And the premise of the game is almost like a detective game. You've got to go speak to people, collect notes, collect clues, follow the clues, the hints, to progress the story, plus with a fighting mechanism as well. So, it's quite interesting. I'm just going to save it here. So you go to the bed to... Shit, I never meant to do that. So you go to the bed to save, to do a proper save on the VMU, which I have. I've not got the VMU in the recording, but I can see it above the emulator that I'm playing and it says now saving don't remove the VM so yeah when I play the game again it will load up from that uh, point so yeah that's it and uh, you can go into the cupboards the drawers everything basically you know you can you can go through a lot of stuff and if you focus in with the right trigger then you can actually have a proper look so yeah that's pretty much the premise of the game is just Exploration, figure things out for yourself, and uh, collect clues and hints. So you can have a look around here. There's trophies, and I think the trophies are for fighting. These kung fu trophies. I'm not sure. So if we go outside, um, I'm sure. Is there anything to get from the from the drawers here? I don't know if there's anything that I need to. I know I'm just going to waste time going through all these drawers. You know what, I don't... <laughs> it's dirty pants. Dirty boy. So yeah, I don't... I'm just going to go I'm sure there's a cut. We get a cut scene if we go out here again. Your son. You should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you alright? Mm, yes. But I must keep busy. Otherwise, I'll get depressed. I understand. But you needn't work too hard. Mm, yes. It's a very emotional storyline. By the way, I have this for Fantastic storyline. This is for today. Give me that money! From tomorrow, I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fokusan is? Fokusan? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? He's in the dojo. So yeah, so what I probably should have explained is, um, so if I press A just now, it'll... Ah, oh Christ. No, I meant to do that. So yeah, what I was got, uh, meant to explain is, obviously, I'm when I'm playing the game, I'll go through the mechanics things, just for, obviously, so I've got stuff to reference and I'm not just talking shit. Um, but also, for anybody that hasn't played Shenmue, I would advise you to play it, to be honest. The game is fantastic. I'm going to see if I can put subtitles on here. Dialogue, Shenmue. Play using both dialogue and text. Text is displayed when skip is used. Play using both dialogues and text to aid your progress. Play using only text. No, no. So, does that use... Play using both dialogue and text to age of progress. Yeah, I'll do that for the sake of YouTube. Um, I usually wouldn't do that, but... And then I'll save it again so it saves those settings. But yeah, I'm, I'm explaining mechanics of the game and stuff, but that's just for people that haven't played the game. If you've all played it, then obviously you know how it works. You, um, you've played it before, but... I'll go through things for anybody that hasn't played it, but I, if you haven't played it, Jesus, I would advise you to either go out and get an old Dreamcast and get the game, or 
uh, get an emulator like I've got here um, because the game is absolutely fantastic. Best game you'll ever, honestly. One of the best games ever created. The story's fantastic, the game, in my opinion anyway. And like you said, that was one of the so that was one of the mechanics there. Every day you wake up at a certain time, you can go out, collect hints, go to the town, do things in the town, progress the story. You get pocket money every morning off your mother, I think that is. And you have to be back home by a certain time. If you're not back home by that certain time, then it automatically puts you back home by that time and then you can start the next day. The seasons change in the town as well and you see things like Christmas lights and stuff go up. It's honestly, we'll go through it all, we'll, you'll see it as I play it, but it is fantastic. But I'm going to cut this video here and start a new one. What the fuck was that? Oh, she was opening the door. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to cut the video here. Um, and start afresh when, we, when we're going to start progressing the storyline when I come back then. So yeah, that's Shenmue. I'm going to play it through. Once I finish Shenmue 1, I'm going to play Shenmue 2. And then hopefully when the Kickstarter comes out, I'll be able to play that for Shenmue 3 and complete the the trilogy. Um, but like I said, one of my favourite yes, my favourite game of all time. My top game, top, top game. Um, if you want to see more, then you know, don't forget to subscribe. And I will put more videos up as I progress through. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.